I think we all love stories about comebacks. You mean those times when someone or something fell out of favor and then unexpectedly ends up back on top again? Exactly, and that's kind of the case with our first topic today, cod liver oil. It looks like a picture from many, many years ago, but in fact, a spoonful of cod liver oil is a regular modern day occurrence for eight-year-old Tucker Shearer of Canaan, Connecticut. In fact, for the Shearer family, cod liver oil is an important part of an approach to health that includes raw milk and a traditional diet filled with healthy fats. Stephanie Shearer says it's an approach that's paying big dividends. I had ear infections my entire childhood. My children don't have ear infections. They get cold sometimes, but the duration seems very brief. Flus last about 12 hours. High fevers, they're over with in like a couple hours, it seems like. The Shearers are patients of Dr. Ron Schmid, a naturopathic physician in Watertown, Connecticut, and a big proponent of cod liver oil. Most people lack the nutrients that are concentrated in cod liver oil, which is one of the things that makes it a wonderful food. And it's a, it's a tr traditional food that was used in cultures throughout the world for hundreds and hundreds of years as a regular part of the diet. And it actually was considered a sacred food because it's so important in traditional cultures. Dr. Schmidt says cod liver oil is especially needed now because most modern diets don't deliver enough vitamins A and D from animal fats. Historically, human beings got large amounts of vitamins A and D and thrived on, on that. When we don't get them, it, that's part of, part of why we develop all of the modern diseases. You've heard of the diseases of civilization. There's a reason that they're called that because they didn't occur in quote, uncivilized societies where people ate their natural diets. Dr. Ron Schmidt is by no means the only health professional who favors a more traditional diet with cod liver oil as an essential ingredient. The Weston A. Price Foundation has made cod liver oil one of its favorite foods in its national campaign to promote healthy diets based on wise traditions. We're big advocates of old-fashioned cod liver oil which was a, a big thing uh, in America and the Western world up to the Second World War. It was recognized as an important source of vitamins A and D and very important for growth and the health of the children. And we need to get back to giving our children cod liver oil. It's the best insurance policy you can give a child. But cod liver oil is not just for youngsters. Piano teacher Marie Bouchard has been battling colon cancer and breast cancer and lymphoma. She did conventional treatments, including chemo, and she also took a number of natural supplements, including cod liver oil. Since I've had chemo two times, I actually can compare. The first time I didn't have the cod liver oil, it, I, it was late, in, before I saw you, mm -hmm. I had just started the pills, the cod liver oil pills. And this time, I actually can see my, my brain coming around mm -hmm. more from the chemo treatment. Oh, coming and back. Coming yeah. back, yes, coming back. Stephanie Shearer credits cod liver oil and Dr. Ron with helping her husband Todd avoid <laughs> surgery on both his the knees. Ugliest snowman ever. So I sent Todd to Dr. Ron to deal with some ringing, some tinnitus he had had in his ears for about a year and a half. He was looking at double arthroscopic surgery on his ACLs and his knees, and Ron pushed him in the direction of taking more cod liver oil, having a more traditional diet and these things just went away for him. How long did it take for them to go away? For him, not very long, maybe six months, maybe nine months. Overall, I don't think that's a long time when you're looking at, you know, a couple surgeries and... So he ended up not having to have surgery. Right, right. Cod liver oil now comes in flavors like mint, orange, and cinnamon, and in a liquid and capsule form. But experts like Dr. Schmid and Sally Fallon caution that not all modern cod liver oils deliver the benefits of those made in the more traditional fermented way.
We've looked into this uh, subject in great detail, and unfortunately, most cod liver oil today is so highly processed that the critical vitamins, A and D, are taken out, and they're just not there, or they're added back as synthetic vitamins. The traditional way of making cod liver oil was to ferment it and to leave intact all of the natural vitamins and other substances that occur in it, particularly the vitamins A and D. That's why we use the traditional fermented cod liver oil. So this turns out to be another instance where modern science is coming to recognize the wisdom of our mothers and grandmothers. It turns out they knew a lot about the value of this healthy food called cod liver oil.